EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Marcher here with your outlook for April 23rd, 2020. For your Thursday, expecting mainly cloudy skies today. And uh, late in the day, we're going to have this system that's going to be affecting the region, bringing some showers later in the day and overnight that's going to carry into the day here on Friday. So uh, temperatures are going to be very similar to what they've been, you know, for most of those last couple of days here with temperatures in the 50s with those clouds and showers and cooler temperatures. We talked about this in the previous couple of videos about how the uh, sustained warm-up, actually you can look it on the uh, on the header of our website, literally uh, describes word for word that there's nothing in sight as far as warmer temperatures or warmer than average temperatures, not even near average temperatures. We're going to be below for a while, uh, and this is uh, so this should not be a surprise. But a lot of this is because of rain systems we're going to be dealing with. This is the first of several. And again, this is coming in later in the day. It's going to continue overnight, and then it's going to go into Friday with more scattered, intermittent scattered showers here uh, during the day on Friday before it finally pulls away, maybe late in the day or very early in the evening here on Friday. So let's go over the high Res Future Simulator Radar. Starting us off at 6 a.m. You're probably like, why are you starting off at 6 a.m.? You said later in the day. Okay, well, there's a little band here that's going to come through uh, in the morning hours. I just want to show you that at uh, 6 a.m. there's nothing. We move forward to... Uh, this is 10 a.m., okay, and I want to switch to a different uh, reflectivity type radar here. So you can see, if you do live across northeast PA in these far northeastern areas, you might see a few flakes this morning. Okay, not a big deal, no accumulations, or shouldn't be, maybe a dusting somewhere. Uh, but that's going to move off into New York State, so that's the end of that. All right, so if you see that this morning, I'm just pointing that out because somebody always does this. They're like, oh, you never said anything about snow, and it's snowing here. Well, that's why. Okay, so then we get to uh, the afternoon. This is early afternoon. And then early to mid-afternoon, you're going to see the uh, showers moving in from the south. And then, or I should say mid to late afternoon, showers are going to move in from the south here and work their way northward through the course of the evening and overnight. And you can see some locally heavy rain for some southern areas here. And that's where we have the highest amounts of rain. Up further north, it's going to be negligible as far as rain totals go. But this is going to go uh, and uh, through the night here and then, just uh, remain showers that are going to go into Friday morning here, Friday afternoon. You can see these scattered showers here. They're just intermittent, though. Not everywhere is going to get them, and they're going to be generally light. But you could have some uh, some freezing, or not yeah, freezing. You could have some drizzle, not freezing drizzle, drizzle, uh, even when it's not raining until this pulls away. But you see those showers finally starting to pull away very late in the day. Here's 6 p.m. here on Friday, and we move, move ahead, and that clears the coast in the early evening hours. So this will be around for a little bit from later today but if you have anything to do that you need to be uh, outside for today for any reason uh, make sure you get anything done that you need to have done by about mid-afternoon or so you should be safe from any rain except for again that northeastern corner of pennsylvania here we might get a few snowflakes this morning so don't at me and say why is it snowing when i told you okay so we get to saturday we're going to get a day uh, a break in here it's going to be a break amidst a very crappy pattern and this is going to be a nice day here on Saturday with partly cloudy skies expected and temperatures getting above 60. So it's actually going to be a nice day Saturday. If you have anything to do this weekend or any grass cutting you wanted to do or any outside work or I know you really can't take trips anywhere. But, uh, you know, if you wanted to go out for a walk, you just get out of the house. Saturday is a good day for that. OK, uh, once we get into Saturday night, clouds are going to increase and you might even have a shower in some places very late at night. But then I think Sunday is going to be another one of these days where it's going to be raining all day and all night. Uh, with another system moving through the region. Uh, the good news is this should move away early Monday. So we have uh, just uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies here on Monday. Maybe a stray shower very, very early on Monday. But uh, that's it. And then we are still colder than average Sunday, Monday. So you have that warm day or semi-warm. It's still not near average, by the way. If it's in the low 60s and your average highs are in the mid-60s right now, it's still technically below average. Even though it's a little closer... It's not near average. Uh, Sunday, Monday, back into the low to mid 50s for highs when the system's moving through. And then once we get a Tuesday, uh, another system's going to try to move through the area here. Might have another increase in clouds, maybe some late day showers that are go through the overnight into Wednesday. So we have another system. There's a third system. And these are all decent sized systems. It can give you, you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch, inch of rain. So these are uh, three almost back to back to back. You get a little break in between. The breaks in between are going to be Saturday and Monday. But then you have uh, rain coming in pretty much all day and all night Sunday. Obviously today through Friday, or later today through Friday. And then again, late Tuesday through Wednesday. 
All right, so we're going to have three systems just to deal with just the next seven days. And during the time it's raining, you will be in the cool, on the cooler side, temperatures generally in the 50s and certainly below average for this time of year. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Markers. That is your outlook for April 23rd, 2020. Have a great Thursday.